Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Satisfactory 1.0 playthrough. I've done quite a bit since the last episode, so let's uh, let's dive in here. That's just uh, my blueprint making area for the blueprint videos. So, first I want to talk about liquid biofuel. So, what I've got going on here is some alien protein I made. Summer slooped, by the way, so we only needed half as many hog remains. And then that's making biomass, summer slooped. And then the biomass is making solid biofuel, summer slooped. And then the solid biofuel is making liquid biofuel, summer slooped. I just put it here because there's water here and I could spaghetti it together real quick. And all of that, plus some, uh, I'm feeding this with some plastic to make canisters. All of that is to make packaged liquid biofuel. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because packaged liquid biofuel lasts a hella long time in the jetpack. So if we go to package liquid fuel, I mean, just look at this burn time. The turbo fuel would have been gone already. So I tested a couple different things with this and you just get so much further if you're using a belt launcher with the packaged liquid biofuel. So if your goal is distance travel, I highly recommend it. I'm personally gonna keep turbo fuel in my inventory though because it still has a much higher vertical speed and it's a lot easier for getting around the factory um but if your goal is to like get as far as you can you know by doing little boosties then you definitely want the packaged liquid biofuel now this was me doing some testing on what the most efficient way to get up is and it turns out it's very skill based if you just jump and hold down space you're gonna get very little distance this is as high as you can get with turbo fuel. And you'll notice uh, that one way up there, yeah, you can get that high with turbo fuel, believe it or not. It takes a little bit of skill. You gotta do really tiny taps, but you wanna keep your vertical speed just near the max. The max being like, how fast are you traveling up if you're just holding space? It's actually really difficult. You gotta like do tiny little taps of the space bar. Let's see if I can do it. Ugh. Nope, couldn't make it. I've made it up to that top one before. Um, in my various tests. Also funny, uh, one time, you know that giant flying manta ray thing? Of course, it's not in view right now. That thing, it flew. I was literally like way up there. I hadn't made it to the top. I was falling back down to the jelly pad and it flew right underneath me and I died because it created a solid surface as I was falling towards the jelly. So that was a crazy, uh, crazy coinky dink. Anyway, all that to say, the turbo fuel can get you a lot higher if you do little tiny taps. And I also did long distance testing. Is it better to do tiny taps going up? Or is it better to like, do little taps trying to maintain level flight? And it turns out it's kind of halfway in between the two. You want to have a little bit of upwards momentum, but you never want to hit the vertical speed limit because then you're wasting fuel. So more or less, as long as you're going sideways and not hitting that vertical speed limit, it's gonna be fine. You do gain a little bit more distance if you do something like this, where you're like climbing stairs almost. Uh, you end up going a little higher that way. But all that being said, you might be wondering, well, what about the liquid biofuel? How high can it go? And the answer is still about that high. I think it can go a little higher. Um, I was able to make it up there pretty easily. But the problem is it takes you five times as long because the vertical speed is so much slower. So I highly recommend having both uh, turbo fuel and liquid biofuel available. Uh, can't comment on the other types of fuel since I haven't unlocked them yet. I know there's at least one more with the rocket fuel. I don't know if there's more than that. But uh, for now, that's all we got. I've done a lot of preparation for this episode, by the way. Um, let me go show you a couple more things that we've prepped. By the way, Bordro, I'm doing well today. I hope you're doing well as well. Now, Yus, welcome. You caught a Crydax stream indeed. So at, at the end of the last episode, I think we had been working on this kind of design and I had said, ah, I screwed it up, I'll finish it later. So I went back and I fixed the designs so that, you know, the merger one links properly to the splitter one, or the splitter one links properly to the merger one, and they're the same spacing, so when you rotate it, it doesn't do anything bad. Um, so that's all good. Good to go. I fixed... what else did I do? Uh, I fixed something. I, I destroyed all this stuff. You'll notice the mess that we had up here is gone. Right now, the only thing up here is uh, basically heavy oil residue sinking. 
uh, because that keeps plastic and rubber going. You'll notice, oh my god, there's a whole new factory building. Yep, this uh, wasn't here before. This was just a flat, boring foundation, and we went ahead and built and prettified the whole plastic and rubber design here. So this is all official now. It's got a roof and windows and everything. Um, we are sinking all of the overflow of plastic and rubber, so this should just run constantly, as long as we're sinking the heavy oil residue as well. And so that's gotten us quite a few awesome points. We're getting about 40,000 a minute, and we have been for a while now. And yeah, that's uh, most of the update. I feel like I have one more thing to talk about. Oh yeah, I connected up the plastic and rubber to the bus. So that goes on levels five and six on the third belt. And then I also did, and this was at the end of the last episode, I put in a people mover uh, up here at the top. And then we've also done a couple new things here. I went ahead and got quartz hooked up for silica and what's that called? Quartz crystals? Yeah, quartz crystals. So those are on the bus now. And then I also hooked up the Caterium ingots. And so we've got quick wire going. And I just put all that stuff on the end here because we had more space. Just the blueprints we've already been using. There's the uh, quartz uh, crystal to, or raw quartz to silica. And this is raw quartz to quartz crystal. And then those just go up on ceiling belts there. And then pretty similar idea over here. We've got constructors turning Caterium and gets into quick wire. So nothing too fancy. I didn't really check any ratios or anything. I just built one set of constructors for each. If I really get desperate for more, I can either add another set of constructors or I can just, um, you know, quick shard, quick, I keep calling them quick shards, uh, <laughs> power shard those things. And I think that's pretty much all I did. There's still some more space over there if we need it for this bottom floor but I'm pretty much ready to start working up here to make heavy modular frames finally. What's up, Demon Ante? How goes it? Welcome, welcome. And in the Blueprint Designer Mark II, I already whipped together the t double manufacturer. Did I save it? Yeah. So now we've got a two manufacturer design that'll be pretty easy to feed. Um, so yeah, I mean, without any further ado, let's get that going. I don't see a reason not to. Let me, let's use the customizer and do, what color do we want? Maybe this can be concrete. Cause it generally, uh, it looks like I had two spaces. Downstairs I had like a two uh, foundation gap between the bus and my production, and I actually like that. It leaves room for belt spaghetti. Or even if it's not terrible spaghetti, it uh, it leaves room. What's up CCTV? Welcome, welcome. Ah, you are burnt, Kato. I did not know that. I've been interacting with two people that were really one people. All right, so that's good. Yeah, this is just dealing with the heavy oil residue. At some point, I'll probably switch over to turning this into fuel and using it for power or something. But for now, it's just making sure things keep flowing. There's really no cost to it flow. Oh, that's the other thing I did. I explored a crap ton more of the map. I went and explored a lot more of the red forest over here. I went over here to this area, which I believe this is the northern forest or something. It was an area I barely even recognized. I don't know if I've ever been there before. Uh, and then I went over to the Rocky Desert, which I did not find very many hard drives going around this way. Um, there were a few, but I don't think there's a ton of hard drives there. There's probably a few I didn't find and then kind of circled back around. So I ended up with a lot more hard drives. I've researched quite a few already. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, probably more. And we still have 10 more to go. I'm gonna leave those 10 until we get to a future tier. Um, Cause I don't really need any of the other recipes right now. But yeah. Oh yeah, you definitely want Nobelisks. That's for sure. Nobelisks are the bomb. <laughs> get it, 
Get it? It's funny because you know they're literally bombs. Anyway, uh, jokes are funnier when you explain them. I just, you know, you guys should know that because you're all funny people too. But we're going to get heavy modular frames set up here. And I think we just plop this in. And then we select our recipe. What all can we build in these? I haven't even built one yet, really. I am going to be doing Caterium computers, I think. Um... <sighs> it uses Caterium instead of copper, but it saves so much of the... Look at that. Look at the difference on uh, the oil product. Six instead of 16. And rubber even... I think rubber's the one that provides more uh, residue. Is that right? Uh, I can't remember. Plastic. Yeah, plastic is only one residue, whereas rubber is two. So rubber is technically cheaper than plastic for that reason. Um, now, we're going to need to make, before computers, we need to make circuit boards, but we're not making computers yet. Uh, I'm making the heavy encased frames, which is probably the best alternate recipe in the entire game. I don't think I'm actually, uh, I don't think I'm wrong about that. I did see an analysis of the recipes. Now it's a little bit of a weird analysis. It was based on like, if you were making all the final project assembly parts in the ratio that you make them and using all the resources on the map, like it was a very like, ultra late game type calculation but that being said it's it was the top recipe of all of them uh how am i gonna get power over here without it looking weird maybe i have power come through the ceiling i don't know here hmm you can tank you can tank a lot with just barrel nuts. You can tank more if you use the you have pale berries. Pale berries are nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna connect through the floor here. And then we can connect that down to here, and then we can connect that over to there. Perfect. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So I need, did I put the encased beams on the bus? The answer to that is no, I did not. I have steel ingots, steel pipes, wire frames, plastic rubber. I do not have the encased industrial beams. Didn't I make them, though? I just never put them on the bus. Yeah, they're right here. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Let's fix that. Um, uh, crap. Where do I put them, then? Hmm. I think I'll put them on the top. Maybe I'll put them above the concrete. That seems reasonable, actually. On this one. Or no, wait. No. This one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, get this built. And then, I guess there might as well be a second one. Merger. Of course, it's not going to link, but if I build these up with power, it should. Yep, there we go. No, shooting the air is fun. That's how I make a point. An explosive point. A hollow point. An explosive hollow point. <laughs> there we 
go. Alright, there's encased beams on the bus. Um, I am doing the encased pipes, right? Yeah, encased industrial pipe. Okay. So we'll see if I run out of concrete. It's very possible that I do. I might just have a little elevator open to me traveling here. So, all right, now how are we gonna connect this bus up? Um, I think I want, wait, is this good? Okay, so we're gonna need a lot of connections here. The question is, how spaced out? Oh wow, I don't have enough beams for all this. Um, you know where I can get some. You know where I can get some. I actually didn't mean to shoot in that case. Okay, so the question is like, do I want to build it spaced out and then make all the connections or do I want to build it close together? Because then I already have splitters set up for everything, but I don't really need splitters set up for everything is the thing. It only saves me time for like the two or three items I do need splitters for. So uh, I'm not sure. So that is the correct direction. And then we want to line those things up. Maybe I have like a one foundation gap there. Now this is also slightly problematic. My fourth row is off. So what I might do you shift it over by two. And then we're gonna have to have a non-straight line, but it should be okay. I need to shift it over more, actually. There needs to be room for vertical... Vertical lifts right here. With a wall in the way. Um, I'm not sure if that is enough room. It is not. It needs to be over by one more. So the center needs to be here. Yeah, my pioneer is not practicing good uh, trigger finger control. I think it needs to be here. Should leave the proper space. And then, yeah, I've got this nice little area for spaghetti. And then we just have to painstakingly connect all the belts. I like how it builds them one at a time, and then eventually it just gives up if you have enough. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> All right, I should go top down. Oh boy, this is gonna be, I guess not that bad. I'm already done with six of 18. I don't need to connect the other ones because there are no other ones. Nice. Okay, that wasn't that bad. All right. 
right, and then what do I need for you guys? We need frames, beams, pipes, and reet, as I will call it. So that is boom, boom. And then... Wait, where'd the... Oh, the pipes are over here. Okay, so this is pipes. And then... Where was... Frames... And then... EIBs... And the concrete day. Right there. Alright, cool. Julio. And let's see if we can line some things up here. There's a part of me that feels like I could just connect it straight from there to there, um, but that would greatly increase the spaghetti look. I think this will keep it looking a lot cleaner, even if it's not as efficient in some ways. I think it'll look a lot cleaner if they kind of all go across here and then they get up to their spots where they're supposed to be, if that makes sense. Um, like I may even need to use lifts on some of these. You know, like that's the top one. And that's the third one. This can be the bottom one. And this can be the second one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Now we're doing it. And I could summer sloop these. I don't have a reason to yet, uh, but it's certainly possible. Sweet. All right, that's it. Uh, heavy modular frames are officially automated. Um, I don't know about rates. I'm pretty sure I have more than double this. How many uh, MFs am I making? That's the thing I don't know. Uh, let's see. Under the frames, I've got six buildings going at seven and a half a minute. That's 15, that's 45 a minute on MFs. And so, yeah, I basically I could have six of these running. So I could make two more of these. I think. Before I make more, I'll just shard and sloop them, to be honest. And now... You know, I wonder... Hmm... No, this is fine. It's just kind of getting in the way right here of other materials, but I have other spots I can bring things in uh, for the next thing I do, which is gonna be circuit boards. So we'll do our assemblers BP. And it'll be... There's the space that I like to have between. That is... It wasn't this tight, right? I'm pretty sure it was a little more spaced out on the first floor. I just assume I'm gonna need six assemblers, so we'll just make six. Um... Yeah, that's the right spot. Need to deconstruct this stuff. Can't see it yet, but I know it's there. Yep, yep, yep.
All right, and then we do Connectorino. Nectarino and Connectorino. Power line. That's it. We're done. I love blueprints. I just. It's crazy. How did we ever play without blueprints? I might run out of Caterium if I use Caterium circuit board. Wait, didn't we have silicon circuit board? Uh, I thought we had silicon circuit board. Uh, let's check our ma'am. Ah, there it is. I think I might want that. Hmm. I'm not using quartz for much else right now. So I think in this case, using Caterium Computer and Silicon Circuit Board is the way I want to go. Now that does mean I need Copper Sheet. And I think... I'll just bring through the copper ingots that we already have on the bus here. Is that a good idea? Where are all our copper ingots used? Mostly just for wire and for sheet. Hmm. Would it make more sense to just have sheet and wire on the bus? Do away with copper ingots entirely. It might. It might. Okay. Let's set up the copper sheet down here then. Um, I'll set it up right here. Construct our blueprint. Constructor X8. Um, what? Oh, it's in blueprint mode. Need more space. Is it for reinforced plates? I might need more of those. Um, we'll put this over here. Is that the wrong way? Yeah, it's actually on the left. It's kind of weird. I probably should have had it on the opposite side. Good. And then we need to bring, bring stuff over. Uh, let's do it here. That's probably too long. The power augmenter is even bigger than you thought it would be. Yeah, I haven't built one yet just because I didn't want to spend 10 sloops on it. It's such a, such a high price to pay. But we have unlocked them. Then again, here I am holding more than 10 sloops in my inventory doing nothing with them. So I guess I might as well use it for the power up. The problem is if you get used to that power and then you need the sloops for production, well now you have to find another thing to produce power. So it does kind of feel like something if you build one you're not going to want to unbuild it but I guess it could cover a gap in your power production for like a time I don't know all right so we're going to bring the copper ingots which are this one so splitter Things need numbers on them. And we'll do a merger right after. Right there, and we deconstruct the belt. 
Yeah, I'm curious what the current number of sloops is, because I'm guessing it's different than it was before. Point oh, out. Yeah, hey, n uh, no spoilers if it does anything other than just produce power. I feel like it seems like it does something else. All right, so the ingots come in, and then the sheets come back. All right, you connect there. You connect there. All right, this isn't bad. I'll just connect it up. Also, that would be hilarious if they referenced uh, Half-Life, the actual resonance cascade. Somewhere. Uh, there have been a lot of funny voice lines that I haven't gotten in the recordings uh, when I've been exploring. They've made references to multiple things. Um, the stuff Ada and the alien, you know, intelligence end up talking about are just often very funny. So, that's one of the fun parts about exploration is you get to hear funny lines when you grab a Summer Sloop or Mercer Sphere. Okay, how much is this? I just did eight. So that's only 80 copper sheet. It's not that much, actually. Did I make a second one? Maybe. We can always add on pretty easily. For now, I'll call it good enough. Okay. So then we should see any moment. Are, are, is it connected all the way through? I don't think it is, actually. Just kidding. We shouldn't see it, because it's not going to show up. So we need to get this guy connected through to, oh shoot, which level are we? We need to leave a gap. There we go. And then we should see the copper sheet. Here it comes. Look at that sheet. All right. So then, we're changing to silicon circuit board. Copy, copy. And did I connect the power between the two? I think I did. So then we need another wall power mount. So I need to do it that way. yellow now. Yep, they're all yellow. And then we just need copper sheet and silica. And then we have our output right here of circuit boards. Now, what all are circuit boards used in? Uses, HSCs, computers, ACUs. They definitely need to go on the bus. Adaptive control units. Oh, that does need high-speed wiring. Fun. Or automated wiring. Okay, well, I'll deal with that later. For now, I will install circuit boards onto the bus right here. Oh. Interesting. I guess I will install it over here. Yeah. But 
then that could get in the way of the other one. I don't know if I like this, where I don't have the splitters where I want them. I guess I can always just move them if they're in a bad... Like, this one's in a particularly bad spot, because really I want it to be a merger anyway. I want it to be right here. And then, let's see... One, two, is that enough? No. Get it off the ground there. And then this is going to be circuit boards. All right. And then we need the sheets in. blueprint already this uh, this space is just gonna disappear in moments it's crazy I'm now feeling like maybe I should have had a design where the bus goes down the middle of the building so I can build on two sides I'm kind of hamstringing myself by only building to one side I could always extend out the floor and figure out a way to make it look reasonable I do have a lot of space over here uh, I guess we could figure that out someday. For now, I shall make do. Okay, so this guy is the uh, silica. And this guy is the sheets. So those can come over this one, nice and straight line, and then, shoot, I already lost track. What's the other one I'm doing? Uh, where'd it go? This one. Yeah, it's going to have to go next to that one. We're going to have to do a little bit of a squiggle here. And then that goes... Oh. Now that'll have to be the bottom one. Which means this can just go higher on the, the lift. There we go. Alright, with any amount of luck, uh, no, there's no luck. What did I do wrong? Okay, that's just not copper sheets. That's the problem. That's literally nothing on that belt. Copper sheets are on this one. Which... Now I broke this. players in the way. Alright, uh, copper... Maybe I can just connect it, and it'll be fine. Elevation changes can look weird sometimes, but that actually... That, that worked out okay. Alright, now, also, how did I do this one wrong? I connected it up one too high. Got it. Got it. It's actually this one we want, which is problematic. Um... indeed. Can I get that to, like, turn a corner and then come up without breaking anything? Maybe not. Yeah, that looks kind of crap. Maybe it needs to come out first, and then it can go up. Yeah, that's reasonable. 
Okay. Woof. Well, I believe. Woo! We've automated circuit boards, baby. Nice. Everyone asks what the effigy is, but not how the effigy is. <laughs> so true. Poor effigy. Alright, so... The encased beams are coming real slow. I want to look into that. What's the current... What's the current issue here? Is it just... Oh. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't. That's only 12 a minute. I definitely need more than that. Okay. We'll get that going. Crazy? Where did the... Oh, they're right here. Oh, that's actually not connected. It looked like it was. That's that's why I didn't see it. All right. And we got it. That should be it. Just need to select the recipes for these new ones. Paste it. Paste it. And paste it. All right. So that'll give me 24 a minute. I could... Power shard that if I want more. 24 a minute will make these both run at full speed though, so that should be okay. Okay. And I also have not brought the HMFs to the bus. Is that reasonable? Or do I need them on the bus? Used in adaptive control unit. Currently that's it. Later, it's used in other stuff, too, though, so I probably should bring it to the bus. Wheels on the bus. Um, circuit boards and HMFs both need dimensional depoting as well. Interesting. Um... I'm going to break my standard rule. And I'm gonna put a belt on the floor, maybe? No, I guess I, I don't need to. It can go here. Um, dimensional depot. I think I do want storage container still with depot on top. Or maybe depot right in front. Um, and then we can put the frames here. Because that way really big building projects don't pose a problem later. the minimum distance for going up. Alright, so there's circuit boards. That'll fill up in no time. And then the other one we need is HMFs. Which... Why don't I put those right here? And I still need to go on the bus, too. 
But now we've got full access to those. What's up, Ravenbolt? Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Love the podcast. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, it was a fun episode this last week. Galdok and I really got to, got to rambling. <laughs> and the next one's going to be fun, too. We're going to have Troopin on, I believe, assuming everything works out. So that'll be, that'll be a blast. Okay, now I still have plenty of room for processing back here. So I may... Just to remind myself that I have that room, I may just build an empty tower here. Or, I guess I don't like to do... I like to leave that open, so we'll build an empty tower there. And I can use that spot later for more belts. Uh, CCTV? No, I was not. I was invited, but I was not able to go. Because it's all the way in Prague, and I'm in the United States. So it was kind of a giant trip that I neither could afford nor quite had the... I couldn't quite carve out that much time. So, it was a little bit of a bummer. I would have liked to have gone at the same time, though. I also didn't really want to spoil myself on the 2.0 gameplay. So, even if I had been able to go, I, there, I still might have not gone, if that makes sense. I, I didn't really have the finances to be able to make the choice based on my preference, if that makes sense. But but it's possible that just based on my preference, I still wouldn't have gone. Just because I didn't want to spoil myself and play 2.0. I, I would have wanted to go for sure to like meet everybody and get to meet the team and get all the swag and get to hang out with Factorio fans and I don't know. Like that part would have been really awesome. But the actual playing of 2.0, there's a part of me that um, didn't want that, weirdly enough. So I think I'm ready to make computers now. Is that right? What does the computer need? Also, what are these modular engines? Oh, I need smart plating again. No. Oh, goodness. We're gonna run out of space so fast. All right, I think I want to set up a special blueprint for motors that... Basically, I wanna make motors from ingots. Because right now, I have, so that, that's motors. I have the alternate for steel rotors. And I could make motors out of pure iron. If I did iron wire and iron pipes, we have iron pipes available in the ma'am. I don't think I've selected that one yet. Pipe. No. Um, did I select it? I might have in all the random selections. No, we didn't do iron pipe. I have steel on the bus anyway, though. Why does an engine not need rubber and plastic? Wait, why would an engine need plastic? If anything, an engine... Oh, you're talking about the engines, not the not the motors. Right, those are different things. Um, I don't know. You know, I didn't make the recipes. Uh, what's up, Sneaky Pete? Did I say hi already? I can't remember. I have no memory. Oh, God. Rotors and statters make motors. Do motors go on the bus, or are motors pretty much... Pretty much done. At least for now, they're pretty much done. I want to say there's a higher tech thing they're needed in. Oh. Let's 
Smart plating. Hmm. Right now, what I'm doing right now, sorry, I know it looks like I just uh, disappeared. Uh, what I'm trying to do is figure out, do I want to automate this or do I want to just not? Um, and basically hand transport some things. And I think given the numbers are small enough, like I only need a thousand motors and a thousand smart plating. So it doesn't seem like automating all of this onto the bus makes the most sense. Um, motors certainly need to go on the bus. Because I'm gonna, I need turbo motors later and stuff too. So this is in the way right now. Um, so maybe what I do right now then I'm gonna preemptively make another, or plop down another double manufacturer for heavy modular frames. Jeez. Uh, is it that way? Yeah. Okay. So we'll get that plonked down. And then... And then that one goes to there, that one goes to there. Everything just connects up. Beautiful. Okay. So that's just for... I don't know. I know I'll need a bunch of HMFs purposes. And then we've got some room still over here. So then with that extra space, oh, I should have left those, those stackables. I'm gonna need them back now. Cause we're gonna make um, motors or something over there. Or maybe just rotors, I don't know. I don't know what all we'll be able to fit. All will we be able to fit over here? Oh, that's not it. That's the one. So. So I'll need steel ingots for pipes. Oh, part of me wants to do the concrete pipes so I don't use as much steel. But at the same time, that's yet another item. Um, <laughs> hydrate with me. Yes, we shall hydrate. With green tea today. All right, so we'll plop the assemblers here. I'll line up the, the lifts. Is that, is that like not lined up? Where is that lined up? I, why can I not tell? No, that's lined up. Yes, you can stack depots on top of normal containers. I did that over there. You can see this is where I put all the all the stuff that was a mess up here. I just cranked it all over here. We got our clusters, our ammo, our package turbo fuel, and our smokeless powder. Should last a while. Uh, anyway, so I have room for two of these. And I'm going to need the steel pipes and the wire, so I'll do a constructor blueprint next to these. So maybe... Maybe I do the constructor blueprint first. Um, put that over here, if it will let me 
it's like intersecting with this thing, so I can't actually aim out there. It's annoying. Um, okay, wrong way. All right. Not enough space. Yeah, about a foundation between builds to do stuff with belts. So one of the... Guess I need to think about numbers. How many motors am I actually making? Do I need a whole build for pipes and a whole build for wire? I already have wire on the bus. I already have pipes on the bus. What am I doing? I literally have both of the, This is why a bus is nice. I have both of those on the bus already. I don't know why I'm trying to reinvent the wheel here. Um, I do not know why I'm trying to we 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 invent the wheel, um, because that's not what we need to be doing. I should be able to do, excuse me, uh, rotors and statters, right here. Both of these. The same inputs, nonetheless, which is why it's so nice. I can literally, excuse me, I can line them up. I don't know why. I get a lot of those like hiccup thingies when I drink this green tea, which feels weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I don't even need any space to hook up any different inputs. It's super nice. I can just move these. Um, and yeah, so I think, oh, a stretch is a good idea. Uh, you guys at home should stretch. Yeah, you, future YouTubian, I know you're you're thinking, ah, oh, he can't see me, he doesn't know, he doesn't know me, he doesn't know I'm not stretching. I see you, I know you're not stretching, and you should stretch. Come on now, it's good for your body. Give your neck some love, give your back some love. Sit up straight, maybe. Stop being like a like a weird flexible ferret, because that's probably terrible for your back. <laughs> you know, where you're like slouched and you've got your feet up on the desk, but you're like like a weird monkey because you still need to grab the mouse and the keyboard. Yeah, I know I know what you're doing at home. Come on. It's obvious. Alright. That makes five a minute. What does this other one make? That makes five a minute. Well, that's convenient. They really did make those convenient, didn't they? Okay, so we'll start with rotors. Um, rotor. And then we'll do the statters. Okay. Are those needed to build anything? Does it even say when it goes like in a building? I don't think it does. Yeah, I wish it would tell you, um, I guess I can just glance through all these real quick. Do any of these use rotors or no? Yes. Assemblers use rotors. But nothing uses staters, right? I don't think so. And I think at this point, any new stuff we unlock is going to use, like, motors and turbo motors and- oh. Didn't mean to build a biomass burner. Um, okay. Because basically what I'm trying to figure out is if I'm going to end up tearing down my old factory, like, am I going to screw myself over if I don't put rotors and staters into a dimensional depot? And I definitely need rotors for a lot of things, but staters are not needed anywhere. So, I will need to put these rotors... Oh, I need to put that off. 
I will need to put these rotors into a different... into a depot if I'm going to deconstruct my old base, is what I'm trying to say here. Alright, so then this is going to be... roadies and stadies from wire and steel pipe. Um... get that brought across you've got jump pads nice jump pads are fun I don't feel like they're used very often by a lot of people because you so often can just get uh, I don't know there are just a lot of other methods to go up and jump pads are, they can't go that high, and I don't know. I put one or two around, but I didn't even end up using them that much. Okay, yeah, I figured that would be too steep. I am still recording. Future YouTubians are eagerly watching the builds. No, that can be a straight belt. Come on now. There we go. There we go. And then, so what we're gonna have to do here, I wonder what the easiest way, can I? No, oh, I did not do that. Uh, how can I extend this belt slightly without building new supports? Maybe I can't, maybe I need to go the other direction. Go from the bottom up. Like that. There we go. That's... I actually wanted it to be, like, right next to the other one. Uh, no. There we go. I want it to be like that. means dismantling that belt. It's weird that it like makes belts of different length depending on wait it's what? See that what just happened there? Like super weird stuff. It's like fudging on how long the belt inside of the lift part is if that makes sense. Oh. And that's off to the side by one. Okay. It's harder than I thought it would be. Alright, so that's lined up. And then that is lined up. And then that's in. But then if I deconstruct this, it builds it further out. That is so annoying. Why does it do it that way? Look at that. It like... builds it on the end of it but when you build a belt in it doesn't wow that's kind of crazy you ask me so then how do you fix this problem this problem you're having um, I guess the way you fix it is you extend this out by two slots build a dummy belt and you can build onto the end of that and just call it a day. And then deconstruct these. Yep, that works, I guess. Alright, fine. We'll do it that way. Alright, so... We need wire and steel pipes on here. Steel pipes, funnily enough, are already right here. So that means we need some straight lines to make this look better. Um, let's see. One, two. I can't remember if they can go up in two tiles or if it's three. It is in two. Okay. That, and then... This, but we'll 
will go straight, and then that means I'll have a nice spot for like a splitter with a lift. And then we'll go up to there. Okay. So there's steel pipes. Coming real slow, by the way. Why are steel pipes so slow? Uh, it looks like just the processing of them is kind of slow. So it's this whole section. 40 a minute times 8, though, should be 320 a minute, right? Then that's not adding up. Three twenty a minute would be most of this belt is full, but it's not. Did I not do math right? Can we not do math, even though that's literally what I majored in? Uh, forty times eight, four times eight, it's thirty-two. Yeah, no, that's right. And that uses the full belt of steel ingots, which is also not being consumed at the full rate. It's like backing, it's stopping. So something's not powered up or connected. Uh, is my theory. But literally all of these are running. Is not everything power sharded? They all look power sharded. This is, ah, here it is. Here's the culprit. What is going on here? Is it power? Is it money? Uh, no, joking. Um, what is going on here? Tell me my blueprint's broken. Uh-oh, is that happening with all of my Constructor X8. No, that one's running. No, it's this one that's not running. Oh, no. It's happening with all of them. Oh, no. On every single... Oh, what's wrong with this blueprint? It looks right. But somehow, it's not connected? Oof. That's a big F. F in the chat. All right, well, we're gonna have to fix a lot of these blueprints hanging around. Here's another one. Uh, the good news is I know exactly where to look. It's this one on all of them, and it seems to only be one of them. I guess I should check this one too. This one's not working either. It's the back left too? Feels weird. Why would those be not working? All right, well, I think we are pretty far in for a YouTube episode, so you, you future YouTubians will have to wait to see the fullness of phase three, but we've got heavy modular frames automated and we've got circuit boards automated and we're about to get motors uh, nicely automated, so we're making some good progress. I'll uh, fix all these constructors and the blueprint in between episodes. So uh, if you're here live, uh, stick around. I'm going to keep streaming, but for those of you from the future, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.